Test 5. Listening Test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. A man is typing on a keyboard. B. A man is pointing at a document. C. A man is drinking some water from a cup. D. A man is putting on his glasses. Statement B. A man is pointing at a document. Is the best description of the picture. So you should select answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. Utensils have been piled up in the sink. B. Dishes are being wiped on the counter. C. A tray is being put into an oven. D. A pot is being lifted from the stove. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. Some people are cutting trees. B. Some seats are being set up outdoors. C. A performer is entertaining an audience. D. A musician is walking onto a stage. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. A cyclist is viewing a town from a distance. B. A tourist is taking a picture of the landscape. C. A man is seated on the grass. D. A man is setting his backpack on a ledge. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A worker is washing the windows. B. Some plants are hanging next to each other. C. The roof of a home is being repaired. D. Some flowers are being watered in a garden. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A carpet is being rolled up. B. A picnic table is being set up. C. Cushions have been placed on a sofa. D. Some chairs have been stacked on top of each other. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. One of the people is strolling past the bench. B. One of the people is leaning on a lamppost. C. They are facing away from each other. D. They are entering a hallway. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. When did you purchase your computer? A. The shop across the street. 
B. I still use the monitor. C. Four years ago when it first released. Number eight. Do you know where Conference Hall C is? A. The keynote speaker. B. There's a map over there. C. A conference call on line three. Number nine. That was quite a long concert, wasn't it? A. The venue is really small. B. I don't know where it is. C. Yes, it was over three hours. Number ten. Where can I find the information desk? A. In three days. B. On the other side of the building. C. I'm okay, thanks. Number eleven. Who's going to manage the sales team? A. I managed to finish the report. B. Yes, he works in sales. C. Probably Mary Jensen. Number twelve. How was the client lunch? A. An Italian restaurant. B. That's correct. At one p.m. C. He agreed to sign a contract. Number thirteen. You've shopped at Burlington Mall before, right? A. Is that the one on Rocker Avenue? B. No, it's on the left. C. I work the night shift. Number fourteen. Wasn't yesterday the deadline for this report? A. No, a decline in production. B. It took us longer than expected. C. The reporter won an award. Number fifteen. Whose tone is it to order lunch? A. The salmon sounds good. B. In the break room. C. I ordered yesterday. Number sixteen. Where will the corporate workshop be next month? A. In May, I guess. B. No, I haven't been there. C. It will be determined later. Number seventeen. Let's talk about the office relocation this afternoon. A. Does she work in this office? B. For my vacation to Europe. C. Why don't we do it now? Number eighteen. Why are there balloons out in the lobby today? A. The newspaper on the table. B. Because Ms. Weber is retiring today. C. I'll see who's here. Number nineteen. How are we supposed to set up our display booth in time? A. In room five hundred one. B. The newest kitchen appliances. C. Maggie said she'd help. Number twenty. Have you taken the employee development program yet? A. I didn't know I had to. B. An employee appreciation dinner. C. Sure, I can take her there. Number twenty-one. Why don't we expand the products we carry at our store? A. Extend the business hours. B. I think that's a good idea. C. Put them in the storage room. Number twenty-two. 
What type of laptop do you have? A. Are you planning to get one? B. At a computer store. C. I have some time to help you. Number 23. Wouldn't you rather get some food during your lunch break? A. I have a project to finish today. B. It's quite delicious. C. A table for four, please. Number 24. You sent the clients the invoice, didn't you? A. She has a great voice. B. Haven't they made the payment yet? C. A fast delivery service. Number 25. How soon can you get started on the building design? A. She's a new graphic designer. B. Try the rear entrance. C. I'll begin this afternoon. Number 26. Did you bring your current resume with you for this interview? A. It's in my bag. B. She's a qualified candidate. C. Previous job experience. Number 27. The last day to book a reservation is on Wednesday. A. That's a nice hotel. B. No, I haven't read it yet. C. How do you know that? Number 28. Your train to Moscow has a dining car, doesn't it? A. Yes, and the food is good. B. The airport is nearby. C. It's easy to find parking. Number 29. Are you planning to buy the car you checked out yesterday? A. No, I can't pick you up. B. It's too pricey. C. Our check in time is 2 p.m. Number 30. Would you like wireless internet for your flight today? A. A window seat, please. B. Is it free of charge? C. It departs in two hours. Number 31. Should I print out the meeting agenda or email it to everyone? A. Everyone will bring their laptops. B. The first page of the report. C. In conference room B. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation Hello, I'm Justin, the facilities supervisor. Thanks for coming. This is our company cafeteria, which needs to be completely remodeled. Thank you for hiring my design firm. Okay, it looks like we'll have to get rid of everything. After we replace the floors, we can put in new tables and seats. All right, but we're holding a celebration banquet for our R&D division during the first week of February, and we're planning on using the cafeteria. Will you finish before then? If my team begins right away, it's definitely possible. If I email you an invoice this afternoon, will you be able to make a faster decision? Yes, our CEO should approve it immediately if it's within our budget. Number 32. What is the main topic of the conversation? Number 33. 
What will happen during the first week of February? Number 34. What will the woman most likely send in the afternoon? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. The chef just informed me that he's used up a lot of the ingredients for our meatball dish, the special today. We should tell the servers to stop taking orders for it from customers. Good idea. As you know, we have a large party arriving soon at 7 o'clock. I think a few of those customers pre ordered the meatball special, so we should make sure to have enough for them. Okay. But it's still being advertised on our menu board. Shouldn't I take it off? Number 35. What is the main topic of the conversation? Number 36. What does the man say will happen soon? Number 37. What does the woman ask the man? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Okay, that's the end of the company building tour. Now we'll walk over to the personnel office so that you can fill out your new hire documents. Are there any questions? Do we need to submit a special form to use the leisure center and sauna? No, the center and sauna are open daily from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. You can access them with your staff ID badge. Anything else? Yes, I was just curious when we'd be going to the sales team's office. I'm eager to finally meet our colleagues. Oh, we'll go right after lunch. I'm sure the department members are also looking forward to meeting you two. Number 38. Who most likely are the women? Number 39. What does the man say about the leisure facilities? Number 40. What will the women do after lunch? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hello, it's Gordon Stevens, manager of the accounting department. Water from the ceiling has been dripping onto my desk, so I had to move my computer to another area of the room. Do you know what the cause of the leak is? One of the pipes on the floor above your office must be leaking. I'll send someone from my team to check it out right away. Thank you. Do you think it will be possible for you to repair it before noon today? I'm expecting an important client at three o'clock in my office today. Yes, it shouldn't take too long. Number 41. Why is the man calling? Number 42. What does the woman say she will do? Number 43. What does the man say he will be doing at 3 o'clock? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Chris. I know you're taking this Friday off, but we need additional workers for that day. We're providing catering services for a party at the Performing Arts Center, and I was just told that more guests would be attending.、Mm, I'm expecting an important package this Friday. It's supposed to be delivered around 6 p.m. Oh, the party is a dinner banquet, so I don't think it'll be possible then. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You might want to talk to Karina, though. 
She told me she wanted to work extra hours. Number 44. What industry do the speakers most likely work in? Number 45. What does the man mean when he says, It's supposed to be delivered around 6 p.m.? Number 46. What does the man say about Karina? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hello, my name is Irene Marquez, and I'm calling from Mahal Engineering. Our company will be hosting some investors from Seoul, and we have some documents that need to be translated before they arrive. You do English to Korean translations, right? Yes, that's correct. But I'll be interpreting at a conference both days this weekend, so I won't be able to do your work until next week. Would that be okay with you? Actually, our meeting is scheduled for next Monday, so we need our annual earnings report translated by this Saturday at the latest.、Uh, in that case, I can recommend a colleague of mine. Her specialty is financial documents. Let me get your email address and I'll ask her to contact you. Number 47. What is the woman preparing for? Number 48. What is the woman calling about? Number 49. What does the man offer to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. How far have you gotten on your presentation for the Finance Committee tomorrow? This presentation is essential to getting enough funding for our investment. So, it's crucial that we clearly describe our plans for investing in Geotech's eco project. It's nearly complete, but I'm missing the recording of Geotech's welcome message. I'm not sure who has the video file. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to email that to you. I'll go to my desk right now and send it to you. Thanks. Also, we should make sure the file is compatible with the software in our computer. Do you mind going to the conference room after your lunch break today to make sure the computer plays the file? Number 50. What are the speakers discussing? Number 51. What does the man say he is missing? Number 52. What does the man ask the woman to do after lunch? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello, my name is Vivian Hearns. I'm here to pick up a research paper Professor Chun edited. I need to review the edits before submitting it for publishing next week. Sure, let me check. Which professor was it again? Dr. Chen. Okay. I believe my co worker Drew met with him this morning. Just a moment, please. Drew? Yes? Did Dr. Chun leave a paper with you this morning? Yes, Ms. Hearns. I just need to see your student ID before I hand this over to you. Certainly. Here you are. Number 53. What will the woman do next week? Number 54. What did Drew do in the morning? Number 55. What does Drew ask the woman to do?
Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Crystal, I'm concerned that we didn't sell many winter vacation packages this month. I don't think our travel agency is doing enough to attract more customers. Well, we're going to launch a new marketing campaign next week. That should help increase our sales. Maybe, but winter's nearly over. Yeah, last year we had a lot more winter vacations reserved around this time. Hmm. Why don't we get in touch with our transportation companies and hotels and discuss two to three day packages? This might draw more customers looking to go on a short break. That's a good idea. I'll give our vendors a call right now. Number 56. Who most likely are the speakers? Number 57. What does the man imply when he says, But winter's nearly over? Number 58. What will the woman do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, it's Jason from Grapper Industries. I'm calling to follow up on your inquiry about renting our Pro X gauge. Thanks for the call. I manage a small factory and I know your gauge keeps track of a machine's internal pressure. I'm looking for a device that can provide reliable information for our new mixing tanks. Then the Pro X gauge is ideal for you. It will accurately measure the pressure levels of your tanks throughout the day so that you'll be able to make sure your machine is operating well. Great. I'm a little worried about the cost, though. It's just $95 a month. Okay, but I'll have to check our budget, so why don't I call you back tomorrow? Number 59. Who most likely is the woman? Number 60. What feature of the Pro X gauge does the man mention? Number 61. Why does the woman say she will call back tomorrow? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and report. I have reviewed expenses for our computer manufacturing plant and prepared a report. Do you mind reading it over? Sure. Hmm. Most of our expenditures have increased this month. I think we should focus on lowering costs on packaging materials. Well, the packaging design for our new office computers is a bit complex. We should try to simplify it. I agree. I'll look into how much this can save us. Number 62. What kind of product does the company most likely make? Number 63. What does the woman point out about the report? Number 64. Look at the graphic. Which amount does the woman say might change? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and GPS application. Larry, thank you for coming to get me today. I really appreciate you driving me to work while my van is being fixed. No problem. We live in the same neighborhood, so it's easy. Oh, I just remembered that today's the day of that race. The street that I usually take to the office is closed off for the cyclists. Ah,、uh, I forgot about that. Well, I'm looking at my smartphone's GPS app, and there are three alternative routes you could use. I suggest taking this one because it will get us to work in just 25 minutes. All right, sounds good to me. 
Number 65. Why is the man driving the woman to work? Number 66. What event does the man say is being held today? Number 67. Look at the graphic. What route will the man probably take? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and schedule. I think the management meeting we just had with the executive board went well. Yeah, it won't be easy building additional manufacturing plants, but it's the right move. Oh, by the way, before going into the meeting, I read your email regarding our new plant's completion dates. We need to make one change. The work on the Westmark plant won't be finished on schedule. Got it. What's the reason? That region has been experiencing heavy snowfall, and the storm's been delaying the construction work. We need to move the completion date for the Westmark facility to sometime around mid October. Ah, I see. Well, at least this will give us additional time to find qualified factory workers. Number 68. What did the speakers just attend? Number 69. Look at the graphic. What date has to be changed? Number 70. What is causing a delay in construction? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following broadcast. You're tuning in to 104.5 FM, Atlanta's number one radio station. It's time for your weekly community news. It's been announced that the annual dance competition at Candler Park, scheduled for this weekend, has been postponed until further notice. I know that many of you are looking forward to this, but some underground pipes burst, so technicians need to fix them. You can check out our website for updates regarding the new date for the competition. And now, here's Nancy Bates with a look at your local traffic report. Number 71. According to the speaker, what event was postponed? Number 72. Why was the event postponed? Number 73. What will the listeners hear next? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following broadcast. Thanks for tuning into Channel 8's Evening News. Earlier this afternoon, Bradbury Theater, the 125 year old structure in downtown, was finally sold. It's one of the most recognizable buildings in our city. And plans are to have it converted into a shopping complex. White and Company has been chosen for the job. With proven expertise in renovating old buildings, they were the ideal candidate for this difficult project. City council members hope to generate more revenue for the town, and the new shopping complex will certainly contribute to the cause. Number 74. What happened in the afternoon? Number 75. According to the speaker, why was White and Company chosen?
n u m b e r 76. What do city council members hope to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following speech. I'm so happy to see you all here for the ninth annual Heartland Agricultural Management Convention. This is actually the largest turnout we've ever had for the convention, and you'll get chances to meet various people in the field. I hope everyone brought plenty of business cards. Now, for me personally, this is kind of a sad moment. As I'm sure you're aware, I've been running this event for many years in hopes of creating a better future for our region and our industry. And I honestly believe that I have been making a difference. So it was not an easy decision to leave my position as convention director. At the same time, however, I know that my replacement, Otto Hamilton, will keep up the good work. Number 77. What is the subject of the convention? Number 78. What does the speaker mean when she says, I hope everyone brought plenty of business cards? Number 79. What does the speaker say is difficult? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Arthur Johnson from Office 881. I'm supposed to have some carpets delivered to me this morning. I know that I have to notify the building manager to use the back entrance of the building, and that's why I'm calling you. The name of the company is Modern Office Furniture, and the people making the delivery should be here between 10 and 11 o'clock. Could you please let them into the building when they arrive? If you need to contact me, I'll be in the office, organizing files all morning until noon. Thank you very much. Number 80. What is the purpose of the message? Number 81. What does the speaker want the listener to do? Number 82. What does the speaker say he will be doing this morning? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement Attention, all travelers. As there are a large number of people traveling through our airport today, There are significant delays at the check in counters of all gates. To speed up the process, make sure to have your passport and ticket ready for our agents when your flight is called. Also, attendants with yellow badges will be coming around to identify those passengers who require special assistance and check their departure times to make sure that they get on their flights on time. Number 83. What problem is being addressed? Number 84. What are listeners asked to do? Number 85. According to the speaker, what will attendants be doing? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following notice. Welcome to today's concert here at the Bark Auditorium. We a p o l o g i z e for the late start. There was an unexpected turn of events. We seem to be having some difficulties with our speaker system. Our technicians are currently working on the problem and we expect the concert to start momentarily. In the meantime, we suggest you visit the front desk in the lobby where copies of the orchestra's new album are available for purchase. Also, Don't forget to take a look at the posters by the exit advertising future shows for this fall. 
Number 86. Why does the speaker say, There was an unexpected turn of events? Number 87. According to the speaker, what can be purchased in the lobby? Number 88. What is being advertised at the auditorium? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Just one thing before we start our delivery routes for the day. I know that you all have a lot of deliveries to make and a tight schedule, but we need to follow protocol when delivering packages. It's critical that you get a signature from each recipient before moving on to the next location. We have been hearing that many packages are simply left on doorsteps and that cannot be tolerated. All of this information is coming from our customers. As dispatch manager, it's my responsibility to make sure that we are making deliveries quickly, but without sacrificing security. Starting immediately, a new client relations manager will be contacting random recipients and checking if you are properly following this procedure. Number 89. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number 90. Why does the speaker say, All of this information is coming from our customers? Number 91. According to the speaker, What will a new manager start doing? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Last on the schedule today, I'd like to discuss the matter of moving our patient records that are on paper to an electronic database. All of the records will now be stored electronically, like many other health clinics in the city. And there's one main benefit I'd like to mention. Removing all the paper files that are in our office will create a lot more space that we can use for other purposes. I've asked the office manager to get in touch with a recycling company that specializes in document disposal to come next week and take away all of the paper records so that we can use the space. Number 92. What is the announcement mainly about? Number 93. What is mentioned as an advantage of the change? Number 94. What has the office manager been asked to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. And schedule. Good morning, everyone. As you know, the company will be holding several informational sessions for employees next week. Although they are not mandatory, as members of the marketing team, I would like to urge every one of you to attend the session on social media. I am confident that this class will help give you a better idea of the needs of our consumers. Also, participants in each session will be provided with lunch, compliments of the company. If you're interested, please let me know by tomorrow afternoon. Number 95. Which department does the speaker most likely work in? Number 96. Look at the graphic. When are the listeners encouraged to attend a session? Number 97. What will participants receive at every session? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and neighborhood map. As you all know, we've been receiving more requests for our recycling pickup services. 
thanks to our community awareness program. We'll now be making more than one stop in several neighborhoods. We'll start by changing our Monday route. Since this route has experienced the biggest increase in customers, we're going to spread the work over two days, Monday and Tuesday. This is a good thing. I hope that by gaining more customers, we'll finally be able to buy better machines that can process recyclables more quickly. Number 98. Where does the speaker most likely work? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which neighborhood will be affected by a schedule change? Number 100. What does the speaker hope to purchase?